Greetings humans, Spitting Mantis here with the next episode of the Long Dark Challenge Mode Nomad. Thanks for joining me. We are just passing through, just passing through, um, on our way to Broken Highway, which will be our next stop. We've got seven hours of daylight left. Um, I don't think, I mean, we might pop our head in the Quonset, we might, on the way down. All right, so let's deal with some some hefty hefty stuff. And what else can we burn? That's heavy. And I'm gonna go bad. These guys, pork and beans, salty. Okie dokie. So yes, let's just quickly check our little journal. Uh, we've got Lonely Lighthouse, Stone Church, which are in Coastal Highway. I mean, are in, excuse me, uh, Desolation Point, um, as is the Cinder Hills Coal Mine. And then Crumbling Highway is the transition zone to get there. We're going to be on our way in that direction. So I'm probably going to take the shortcut rather than taking the roads. I'm probably going to just go down the mountain. It usually turns out okay. Occasionally a sprained ankle here and there. This is a new patch, so you will notice some visual glitchiness. Um, I see like flickering issues, uh, objects in the distance popping in, rendering oddly. Um, I think they said there was new grass, but this does not look like the new grass. Maybe that got delayed. Um, as you can see, there are all these things down here, which I'm guessing are scat. I mean, it looks blue to me. I don't know if it's supposed to be a rock or if it's supposed to be scat. Um. <clears throat> so those have been added to the game. Uh, a new system with all your light sources, the matches and the lanterns and such, and flares. You get to see your hand holding it. They do not just float in the air. So yeah, there's a new challenge mode, The Hunt Part 2, where you're hunting the bear. I've started a series on that. It will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, I do not think it is going to be as long as the other hunted challenge. Because you have a gun, and... Um, you shoot the bear once with the gun and he runs away. So he does go for you, but um, he actually runs away. So you just have to track him, find some more ammo, track him, shoot him, track him, shoot him, and eventually find your way to his den. Um, I have a feeling it will not take nearly as long to complete as... Hunted Part 1. But that is going to be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Coming up. Alright, let's see what we got. Looks like this has been here a while. Yes. Sure. It's 
beef jerky time. Flare. Peanut butter. If you want to see a funny video and are not offended by RuPaul <clears throat> and the type of uh, drag show stuff that he does, look up the video for Peanut Butter on YouTube by RuPaul and Big Frida. It is bananas. It's crazy. It's funny. Not appropriate for people under the age of 18 and it would probably trigger the heck out of uh, someone who like doesn't like gay people. Anyway, I quite enjoy the RuPaul show, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, it's uh, one of the funniest shows on television. I'm always cracking up. So that looks like some new lighting stuff. Over there, that's really pretty. So maybe some new textures on some of these rocks. So I thought that was one part of it, but the grass was supposed to go too. Maybe the grass was just the adding of that other color grass. <coughs> I don't know. Grass still looks kind of crappy to me. See, so you shouldn't. Let's see, look how that grass floats off that edge out into space. That's one thing that's been around in video games since I don't know when. I was working on uh, <clears throat> the Tom Clancy games, uh, Rainbow Six, and Ghost Recon 2, and Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, and stuff like that. And that's something you saw everywhere. When grass is really hard to do. It is really hard to do. So basically what you have to do is cheat it. Like, if it's near... Look at that. So I could see the seam of the grass texture. Yep, there it is, floating in the air. Can you see those? Those two kind of, like, dotted lines uh, right above where the black part of my gun chamber begins to the front, right to the right of my footprint. It's like these two aliasing jagged lines. Now they're moving. They're getting bigger and smaller. Yeah, that's why grass is like really hard to deal with in games because you have to build these weird textures um, <clears throat> and a lot of the texture is invisible see I see that one again too right there um, I don't remember seeing as many of those in the last build um, for Xbox um, it could just be well, see that glitch right there there's a little blink on the screen it's okay, it's an alpha. This will get patched, I am certain. Um, I hope they uh, take a look and watch. Oh yeah, so that's uh, one of the textures in the distance, like rendering real hard and flipping in and out of existence. Yeah, it's the distance over there. Um, I had read in the forums when the people had the PC, uh, the PC uh, version came out like uh, five days before the Xbox One version. They were reporting a lot of issues um, with the graphics. And if you do play The Long Dark and uh, do patch up to this, you will see that um, they said there may be some problems with sort of back compatibility. They've introduced a sort of a new. Uh, a spawn system and degrading system uh, for the game so that may bark some things. So we're getting tired. We got five hours of daylight left. And something the head is dead. I guess it's a deer. Dang. Yeah, look at that. And again, I could be wrong. Uh, I do not at all want to say that I am certain that it is the build of the game. I just really hadn't had these problems in the last build. I do know that uh, I do feel like I've got a I've got a pretty early gen Xbox One. 
it is the Advanced Warfare Limited Edition, uh, or Collector's Edition, or whatever. Um, I do feel that it um, could be, you know, just getting old. So I'm assuming that stuff is supposed to be scat. It just doesn't seem enough like a rock. I don't know. I have noticed they have placed some more rocks, bigger rocks, in the game, which obviously makes sense. So I don't know if I'm gonna buy a new, buy one of the slim lines. I really do like the fact that I've got my gaming library on the Xbox One. I really do f like the fact that I game in my living room now, as opposed to sitting in the dark at a monitor, kind of crouched over a keyboard and mouse. I really do. Um, enjoy playing this way. Um, it just feels healthier. Um, you know, to be able to be in a big room with lots of lights around and good stereo sound, but, you know, I'm not going to have headphones on um, with, a, with a really nice HD, I don't know, ginormous TV. Um, I really do like gaming this way sitting in a uh, relaxing, non-stress position rather than sort of crouched over at the mouse and keyboard, which I always do. I mean, I play League of Legends on my laptop, and so that's definitely crouched over, even when I used to do um, shooters and other games on the PC. Uh, you know, your face is like a foot away from the monitor, and really work in your, your wrists and elbows. Rocks or poop? Rocks or poop? That looks like a rock. I don't know. I'm just dubious about that. There's a lot more color now. A lot more color in these rocks. I'm not hating it. I'm liking it. Like it like old man's beer. Mm-hmm. I said it. Oh hi. What's up, crackers? Okay. Speaking of crackers, um, I've spoken about playing baseball on this channel several times before. Oh. Um, that season is over. Yay. Um, no more baseball. Um, I probably will not do it again next year. Um, I'm getting real old and I've had a lot of physical issues this year and last year I had like a two herniated discs in my lower back and I had to get injections into my spine. Um, which turned out great, that turned out fine, um, but <clears throat> I really should not be doing any sort of impact sports, especially ones that involve me like violently wrenching my torso, because like hitting in baseball, you were, it's a very unnatural motion to like swing your whole torso like that, so it can cause all sorts of bad back issues, it's a very common problem amongst professional baseball players, uh, and even the throwing motion isn't good for your back. <clears throat> And then 
the running on the base pass and uh, in the outfield where I play is really high impact. So, um, yeah, I probably won't play it again. But that brings me to uh, there was an old timey baseball team in Atlanta, Georgia, and it was called the Atlanta Black Crackers. And it was in um, the all black league that existed alongside Major League Baseball for a very long time. Um, but I just always thought that was kind of funny that they were the Black Crackers. And I actually have a. Ooh, hey, well. Actually, have a shirt um, and a hat from that team. I collect old. Uh, <coughs> Actually, not old, but replica. Um, replica antique baseball, like jerseys and hats. Is he coming for me? He saw me from all the way over there, and his buddy didn't? What's up with that? You really coming at me? Damn. Minor bruising. You son of a gun. Well. Oh. Where are his cronies at? So yeah, I've got like um, some cool vintage um, baseball apparel. Um, I always liked uh, Japanese baseball teams, so I've got like a uh, Yomi Yuri Giant Sadahara O uh, jersey, <clears throat> and then um, Bunch of jerseys and hats from the old African American League. It is actually not called the African American League. I am just choosing to call it that. You can figure it out yourself. I don't have time for you, wolves. down a little bit low there. Is it the injured one? <sighs> Probably should have used my knife. Yeah. I'm gonna leave all the meat though. Leave all the meat though. All right, let's see some heavy, y'all. We are right at the max. We really are. It is going to be slow going. Yep. But I keep going and my rhymes keep flowing on and on and you don't quit. I get pushed to the limit and you know that's it. Step by step. I take the something my son because I'm the chosen one yes me my son mm -hmm. <sighs> all right well are we gonna make it all the way there in time just have to be poops Well, it's a lovely sunset. Lovely indeed. How 
cold is it? Not that cold. Alright, as soon as we get a little bit thirstier, we will drink some coffee if we have it. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. distinct line between the sunset and the starry sky. That's one of the nicer skies I've seen recently. It's getting smaller and smaller. Bench Taylor Road too. Goodbye, son. Hello, moon. Well, it is a clear night. Clear night's coming on. Looking lovely. in the challenge mode if those things are scats rather than rocks maybe that's part of the way you can find the bear because I did play some and um, <clears throat> slept overnight in the camp office in the morning like there was no sign of him so and I was just kind of stabbing in the dark as to where to go. There were no tracks, no blood trail. Um, I'm not sure if I saw scats or not. Um, I, I definitely saw some, but I wasn't really sure what to make of them. So. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. Push this. Should be able to make it unless um, we reach one of those very low visibility or freezing cold situations. Damn, we lost band. The next episode, it's been like a few days in that basement. Okay, the temp is starting to fall. It's starting to get a bit darker. So you can see I'm not getting that weird uh, visual, visual glitch over in this part of the map. It just seemed to be dealing with the textures in the distance, and that's a common issue I have seen in other builds of this before. <laughs> this 
so recently uh, I started playing Firewatch with my partner Square Reynolds. Um, doing a let's play of that. Um, it's on the channel. Please check it out. Um, it's really fun. And um, it definitely had a similar feel graphically and physically to The Long Dark. So I felt really at home in that game. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. And which is why I would like to see like some expansions of the long dark say this is very successful um, that the story mode is very successful and people still love the um, survival part of the game separately um, how about after the uh, allowing mods I've mentioned that before you could if you want put zombies in it uh, if you want like tweak it out add new story modules and quests um, but I would love for Hinterland themselves to go ahead and choose a different location and use the same story and the same plot device. Obviously this is a worldwide event. Um, and uh, take that and choose a different location. Um, like Joan Roll. Um, I don't know, an urban environment. Um, it, it would just be cool for them to iterate off this idea. Like, okay, what happened when the long dark happened in other parts in the, like of the world? Um, you know, maybe the American Southwest would be a real good one. Sort of utilize stuff like the Grand Canyon. Your set piece. All right, it's freaking dark. The y'all can't see nothing. All right, community is lament. Sorry for the noise. Player really is the best thing for outside. As far as light goes, the lantern is weird. So you can see, you can see the hand there. I really like this. I think this is great. I think the lantern one is a little bit clunky. But the flare works great. Here's your brandish. <laughs> This is going to be fun. So here we are. Yeah, this is really cool with my flare light. So there's the brandish. I have not been here since the patch. Some things have changed. I know some geography in the game has been tweaked. Just have to duck up here. Yeah, we still do. Which is very cool. Just this right here. I mean, 
This is amazing looking. There's the wolf. There's the wolf. straight coffee just in case we are kind of crashing out on the old energy front here it's not this one We found the basement. Oh, this game's gonna be so good in VR. So good in VR. It also helps that, like, <coughs> Like none of the motions are very fast. Everything you do is very deliberate. It's, uh, you know, VR gets well, can get tough and can get nauseating. When everything's moving so fast. Probably useful. The game is like just the right pace to work for VR. Oh man, getting mauled by the bear in VR. Mm. Yeah, you can see the menus are new now, and uh, the hover is different. I'm not loving that font. This stuff will come in handy. But not a big deal. So this is where we're gonna spend the next three days. Cozy little basement. Mm -hmm. We are super way down. We'll try to find one main area to put all our stuff in. Okay, slow we're moving. But see, like in VR, that's gonna feel so much better than if you're like zipping along 500 miles an hour. It's not gonna feel that slow. Nobody needs this anymore. It's gonna feel like perfect. So I guess we're gonna just throw a bunch of stuff in the washer. Let's put this out. Let's uh, stow some stuff, shall we? Okay, that's yeah. That's a completely new tab. Fire making. I don't even recognize that from the last time I played, huh? All right, so you. let's put some stuff in. Yeah, don't need all this. Mm -hmm. All right. Two, not 
think I'm going to go fishing. Uh, take that one back. Because I do think we will take some time and craft stuff. Okay, that's all fine. Cured deer hide, cured gut, cured gut, cured wolf pelt, fresh wolf pelts. Right, so let's check my clothes. How are we? Oh, we're gonna make the wolf coat? Yeah, we're gonna make the wolf coat. Alright, we need four for that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna drop those. dry them out. Right here, I suppose. to go well um i had fun hope you did too um checking out all of the new cool additions to the game um if you want to see more it makes me super happy when you like and subscribe and i do hope that you join me next time that's gonna be all for now spinning mantis out namaste